Hi there, welcome back to my channel, Retro Susie. I'm Susie. And if you're new here, welcome. Uh oh. It is windy outside. And I have curtains on my balcony, and Kiwi doesn't like it when it's windy. She's my guard dog. Sweet girl. <laughs> anyway, if you're new to my channel, I hope you stick around and check it out. And um, if you're returning, welcome back. If you are a new subscriber, thank you so much. And if you're an old subscriber, thank you for subscribing. I really, 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 really appreciate it so much. Um, I'm really trying, <clears throat> excuse me, I'm really trying to grow my channel and, um, I just recently retired and, um, this is my little baby right now and I'm just having so much fun, you guys. <laughs> and I just love it when you comment and, um, we just get to build this community together and it's just, it's just been so much fun. I just love it so much. And since I've retired, I'm really trying to create more content and post more often. And, um, it's, I'm just, I'm loving it so much. It's just really been, um, so much fun to be able to spend the time to get to do all the things that I want to do. And, um, you know, so I've been working on my Timu hauls and, you know, posting more often. I've been, um, working on more crafting videos, which I hope you guys are enjoying. <laughs> They're not getting many views. But I hope that they do start to get more views because it's really where my heart and my passion is. But I am still going to be having Timu hauls as well. I'm currently in this Paper Terrace Dollar Tree Junk Journal Challenge for 2024 where you spend $20 at Dollar Tree and make a junk journal. So I'm recording that and uh, editing those videos and trying to get those posted. It's, I think, over on the 25th. And then, um, so I'm trying to get that done. And then I'm also working on my spring junk journal collection that I'm going to try. <laughs> I keep saying I'm going to try to have it done by the end of March. I don't know, but I'm, I'm going to try after I get this junk journal challenge excuse me, after I get this junk journal challenge done, it's probably not going to be until sometime in April that I get those done. But, um, and then I'm going to have those up for sale. And then, um, I guess those are the, those are the current things that I'm working on as far as crafting things. And then, um, I am, getting ready to travel to Portland to visit my son in May. So a lot of the uh, things that I'm looking for on Timu right now are travel related. So if any of you are looking to travel and have any suggestions for travel items or things that you recommend, I would love to hear it because I'm looking for you know, things for packing and travel ideas, all those kinds of things are recommendations for channels to watch. Um, I've been watching some uh, channels that are uh, either flight attendants or there's a person that I watch who's the wife of a pilot who's been traveling for 30 years, who has recommendations. Um, so I haven't, I think it's been like six years since I've taken a flight. Um, so it's been a little while 
and I always get a little bit nervous when I travel. I don't know if you guys are like that, but when I take a flight, so anything that I can do to make it a little bit easier um, and I guess I haven't flown since before 2020, so yeah, I might even be more nervous, I guess. Hadn't thought about that. Oh well. Anyway, <laughs> let's get on with the um, haul. So I have some clothes. I have some um, junk journal stuff. Yeah, just a variety of stuff. So let's get going. So with travel in mind, I I think in the last haul I shared that I had gotten this um, brown outfit from Amazon that I, it was uh, bamboo because I'm really into bamboo clothing right now because it's so breathable and comfortable. And I really did, I've worn it since then and it's so comfortable and I like it because it didn't like stretch out at the knees. I was worried about that. You know how sometimes fabric that's really stretchy can sort of stretch out, but it didn't. So I was really happy about that. And in this order from Timu, I did get another brown <laughs> outfit. This one's different though. It's a three piece. And now this top is tight, but it has a cardigan that goes over it that I think kind of hides that. So it's this little tank top that, like I said, is very fitted. And I think I got the large. And it is, it is thin, but I didn't want anything too heavy. And then the pants are nice. They have pockets and they're not the wide leg. They're just like a regular leg. And then the cardigan is um, really long. So it goes down over your bottom. which I like. And I did read some of the reviews that said that they specifically got this for traveling on an airplane um, for a long flight and that it was great, that it was really comfortable and that they really liked it. So um, I'm, I'm going to wear it before I travel and I'm going to see kind of, because I don't know about the fitted top. Um, I do need to lose a little bit of weight <laughs> before. Uh, so we'll see. Uh, oh, and what do I have on today? I have on, and I'm not going to show you the bottom part of this because it is a little too tight, but again, I am planning on losing some weight. Um, but it is the um, jumpsuit with the ruffle sleeves. It is really cute. And once I get it to where it will fit <laughs> properly, um, it'll be super cute. And uh, then also this cute necklace that I just hauled. And then these earrings that I also just hauled. And um, Okay, so these pants, not a fan. It says they're viscose, but it doesn't feel like that. 
I have some black pants that I thought that these were going to be like, but um, they don't feel like the pants that I thought that the, these were going to be like. But they do have a little pocket on the back and then two pockets in the sides. Okay, it stopped recording. I was looking for just some casual pants that I could wear with some of the t-shirts that I have that are, you know, just a different color. Because I just have a bunch of gray t-shirts <laughs> and I'm just looking for other pants colors that I can wear. And I thought those might be cute, but they do, and they do look a little bit small. So I don't know. We'll see how those go. Um, and then I got some more pens. <laughs> so this one is I fall asleep to forensic files, which is true. I love true crime and crime TV shows and all the, I think I already got this one in a, in a, a multiple, but I must've had this in my cart. Destroy the patriarchy, not the planet. We all know where I stand on that. And then I got these. Of course, they've got it covered up, but they're spirit junkie cards. 52 affirmations to help you shine your inner light. A spirit junkie is someone who fully embraces their unique gifts and uses them to be a force for good in the world. When we love and accept ourselves, we shine brightly, and that energy radiates outward, inspiring others to do the same. So they look like this on the back and then it's just a deck of cards. I let the universe catch up with my dreams. When I am tuned into the energy of abundance, I become abundant. I welcome healthy, loving relationships. My productivity stems from inspiration. When I focus on what brings me joy, my tasks become Effortless actions. Creativity flows from me. I am a divine creator. Spiritual alignment puts my manifestation into motion. Just a lot of really pretty affirming kinds of cards. I love those bring peace with me wherever I go. My genuine desire to serve clears the path for me to step into my purpose. I just like those. <laughs> and I thought I got some of these. I didn't know they were going to be this big. But have you seen these flying butterflies? So you can put these in cards or packages. You hold one in and you wind the other in 35 times. And then you put them into like um like I said a card or something. So you hold one end And then, okay, and then you have it. I have no idea what's going to happen. And then you open the card. Oh my gosh. Did you 
didn't see that, did you? Maybe if you don't do it as much. <laughs> anyway, you get the idea. <laughs> and you get, I mean, you know, there's a bunch. They weren't very much. But you put a few of these in a card and then they all fly out. <laughs> I wanted to get these. You can make them yourself too. And I, I wanted to make some, but they're so cheap that I just bought some. I'll put this together later. Oh, and since I have these out, I accidentally ordered two of these. These are, um, I think they're supposed to be like the sets that you put up on the wall. But I'm just going to use them for, like, postcards. And I'm sure that these are AI generated. But I I also, so upcoming, <laughs> so the current journals, journal release that I'm doing, the collection, is um, a spring journal. And... Um, but I have ideas for other journal collections that I want to do. And of course, I want to do like a groovy 70s retro journal collection. Um, I want to do a travel journal collection. <laughs> I want to do um, I want to do one for each time of year. So a summer, a fall and a winter. But so for the groovy one, I just thought these were. So cool. And they just, the oranges and blues really go along with my aesthetic. I just love some of these. I won't show all of them. But there's some really cool, groovy yeah, definitely a hot jitter. Leave that. But most of these I, I like. And then another set that is like sort of vintage. Signs, maybe? The only thing I don't like about some of these are sometimes they cut them off. Like they don't have the full sign in there. Oh. <laughs> I used to have a Voltaigen bug. Come on. Ah, like this one. I, I got a shirt like this. I don't know if any those of you that saw the video where I hauled it, but I got a shirt like that. Like this one. See how they cut off? I hate that. But yeah, there's a lot of colons in there. Now. Okay, I've talked about this before. <laughs> I love to get these sayings that where there's kind of something that's lost in translation. <laughs> I love the ones where, you know, they're, it's just straightforward and, you know, they're great sayings like, 
what seems ordinary is often the extraordinary. Listen to your heart. It will show you the way. Trust your crazy ideas. Live your life. You know, all the really nice ones. So I love those. It's never too late to change. If there is anything in life that makes you happy, do it. Never mind what others say. <laughs> but the ones that I really like are the ones that don't really make sense or kind of make sense, but are there's something lost in translation. Like... Every good person has a silent time. Life there will always be unexpected warmth. Let's laugh together and the terrible things will run away. Although hard, but I still like that kind of hot life. The long river of years, after all, can't stop the faith to move forward. <laughs> Live well and meet slowly. The future is ahead. <laughs> the candy from life. You are my alien. My love is written in the wind. I have to be cute moon. <laughs> ideal are like the stars I have lost myself <laughs> what, be what determines who we become is not our ability but our choice that's a good one but yeah so <laughs> I just have one today is worth two tomorrows the whole world <laughs> Better to be in your own universe. It's not easy to get to today, so don't let yourself down and come on. <laughs> uh, start doing what you love. Start doing things you love. Have an open heart. Live your dream with passion. Make a difference. Life was meant for a great adventure. Travel the world over to find the beautiful. So these are like normal ones. And these are the same ones in a different color. But I love those. So now I just embrace if I get ones that make sense or if I get ones that don't make sense. Either way, I just embrace them. And then my daughter, <laughs> my daughter gets the ones that are funny and just sticks them around on things <laughs> all over the apartment. And then she says it's like a little shot of dopamine. It just cracks me up. Okay. Okay, you guys. So I'm still trying to dye halo wigs and I can't get the right color. I, I leave it in too long. I forget about it. And then it gets too dark. It is dyeing them though. The, the fabric dye does work to dye the halo wigs. I'm just dyeing them too dark. And... The halo wigs that I'm getting are too long. Even the ones that I thought were short enough are coming out too long. And so I did try cutting them, but they don't look the same when I cut them. So I might have to get my son's girlfriend to cut them for me. I say that to say I've gotten more. <laughs> and this time I got this, it's kind of a pale blonde, but this one is straight. And this one, I think, is shorter. So maybe this one will be short enough. I don't know, though. Let's see. No, see, that's still pretty long. Oh, but maybe if it's curled, it'll be shorter. I don't know. I just have to get the right color. It's so hard. Any tips? Appreciated. Oh, and then here's another one. This one's shorter too than some of the ones I've gotten. Still kind of long.
I'm going to figure it out. <laughs> Get it to work. Let me figure it out. And then eventually I'll do a video with all of the Halo wigs. <laughs> 50 Halo wigs. Oh my gosh. Oh, and then I got... This keeps coming up in my feed. On... Timu and I it's these envelope it's just a little envelope that hasn't I don't know why I had to get this because I can literally make this it's two envelopes and four sheets of paper which I literally yeah I I designed these myself, so I don't know why I felt like I needed to get this, but they made it look like 3D, so I think that's why. But why do I, why am I always a sucker for the 3D stuff that they do on Timu? I know I'm not the only one. I know I'm not the only one. That falls for the 3D stuff. Oh my gosh. Okay, and then, okay, and I thought these were going to be so much smaller. I did not look at the, um, at the dimensions at all. And I'm not, I mean, I'm not mad about it. I'm not mad about it, but I mean, I could use these like on a whole page, but I was going to use them for like specimen cards. <laughs> But you get several different kinds. Maybe even more than that. They're the PET kind. I think there's six. six that's on. And all the Links to the orders will be in the description box below. And then even more cards, more vintage ads. But you get the idea. It's just that's mostly vintage looking. And then I don't know really why I got these. I just thought they were cute. <laughs> like mini little Ziploc bags. I thought maybe for so for the collections that I do, sometimes there's tiny little um, items that I like to keep together and I thought maybe I could, for organization, I could use one of these for each when I'm organizing, I can keep all this stuff together using those. And then this is, these are vanilla incense and comes with this little like stone that you just put that in. Oh, my daughter said incense isn't the greatest because of the smoke. So maybe I'll do it outside. I don't know. But it was really inexpensive. Okay, and then this t-shirt is super soft. It's a large and it is 65% cotton and 35% polyester. And it says it's a good day to make some art. It's super, super soft. And every day is a good day to make some art, in my opinion. 
Oh, and then these bracelets that are stretchy, I just love. I just got it in two colors, one in orange and one in purple that I love. And then this is a jewelry uh, necklace travel organizer for necklaces that you clip. And then there's little straps here and here that you strap them down and then it just rolls up. And I need something for all the jewelry that I've got right now. And I think this helps keeps, keep it from tarnishing. And then it's just Velcro. And then another, this is another travel. This is probably what I'll take to Portland with me. And this one's nice because it has, so this is for um, necklaces here. So you clip this and then it goes through here and into here. So it's got that and then it's got this little zipper area here. And then it's got these four um, rings and then these four uh, post earrings and then another zippered pocket here. And then, oh, and then this is another little zipper pocket up here. So quite a bit that you could take. These were really inexpensive. It's just a set of these little, very thin <laughs> little holders. Very thin. But I'm always looking for little pouches to hold ephemera. I'll see how these work. Um, but I'm always looking for little things to hold ephemera for projects that I'm working on. And there's one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. There's ten of them in different colors. I think you can get them all in clear too. I can't look anything up because I'm using my phone to film because I felt like the quality on my phone is better than the um, camera that I normally use. So I wanted to record on this today and see if it is better. And then I accidentally got two of these, but I keep seeing this. I wanted to see I think you just use a hanger to hang this up, but it's another jewelry organizer. It has these pockets here. These are very, very cheap feeling. <laughs> and then it has um, just little loops on the back that you use to hang necklaces. And I accidentally got two of these. So I'll try it and see. I'm, I have so much jewelry now that I need I need things that I can use. And then some more plastic. <laughs> There's one. Ten of these. And they're just little. Again, just stuff for little ephemera holders. And then, of course, this is covering up picture, but these are just 
little stickers. I love retro women <laughs> in retro clothes. Okay, and then a mushroom deck. Mushroom carry the secrets of the earth, powerful, ancient, and wise. So it's just a mushroom deck. This is the back. And then these are the, I just thought I could use these in um, junk journals. I like to do mushroom junk journals. And I just, I just love mushrooms. So. Amethyst Deceiver. Yeah, so. And then. <laughs> another pin. Okay, so this. Okay, in remembrance of working at Apple and also finding out how many tabs my daughter had open in <laughs> her browser. Uh, and a few pieces of some, a um, few pieces of jewelry, so some brooches. kind of bold but that would be pretty like on a shawl or something and I thought this was much smaller <laughs> it's huge I, I thought it was gonna be like this big and then I am a sucker last but not least Flamingos. Oh my gosh, I can't get out. Okay. Is there anything? I guess that's it. Yeah. Okay. Um, yeah, I'd love to hear if you guys have any suggestions for travel and for um, just any suggestions that you have for traveling because I am not used to traveling and I'm a little bit nervous about traveling. Um, I know that, hey, everybody is going to Tokyo. I'm so excited for her. And um, uh, yeah, I'm following along in, in that process for her and so excited for her. Um, I know a lot of people, you know, might be traveling this summer. So um, let me know if you guys are have travel plans and where you're going, what you're doing and uh any tips or tricks that you have <laughs> for traveling? I have to get, you know, like a carry on, you know, like 20 inch suitcase. Um, so any recommendations you have for that? And then I'll probably take like a backpack, I'm thinking. Um, so, you know, I'm researching that. And then again, you guys, I'm I have to get a car within the next two weeks, so I'm going to be looking for that in the next, I have to do that this week, so anyway, 
thanks you guys so much for watching for hitting the thumbs up for um subscribing i appreciate it so much we're growing you guys i can't believe it and um for uh commenting thank you so much for commenting i love getting comments and um just growing this community it means so 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 much to me and um I'm just loving it. I'm loving it so much. I'm loving being retired and being able to spend my time on this and uh, bringing you guys along for the journey. It just, it means so much to me. So thank you so, 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 so much. And um, I hope to see you in the next one. And until then, so long. <laughs>